guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to weekend review time. Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Just got this package in the mail. And uh, you can never trust the mail anymore. Look at the condition of this box that was shipped in. Holy cow, what are these? Chuck across the room like they're throwing footballs, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, it's okay. It's in another box. So, this is a ballot portable cordless handheld lightweight mini air compressor that's right have you ever been in a jam where you're driving and your tires are low but you can't find a gas station that has a uh, uh, an air pump or you don't have any coins to put in the air pump you know you're on the side of the highway you can't move got a slow leak got to have a portable air compressor that fits in the glove box of your car. I'm going to open it right now and show you what's inside. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly because it's spelled B-A-L-I-T. To me, that's ballot. Portable air compressor. It's like the, uh, it's like the size of a big iPhone but probably three iPhones or four iPhones thick. Um, usually my products that, my product review items that come in the mail are, are, are already charged, but we'll see. It's got some buttons over here and you can recognize the universal power button, circle with a stick. It doesn't appear that it is charged. All right, so never mind that. Look what I was doing here. If you press the power button for three seconds, it'll go off. Press it for another three seconds, it'll come back on again. The top button here is to select on the side between bicycle tire, I don't know what that is, uh, basketball, uh, car tires right there, see? Uh, you can go up in the amount, that's bar, the one on the very bottom here is to select on the side. KPA, that's kilograms per centimeters. PSI is what we want. Bar, KPA, kilograms, PSI. So we want PSI. As you can see, it has a uh, power indicator and it is charged up three quarters. So we have uh, PSI and we also have car. So that's what we want. In the box, you've got a, uh, I want to say it's uh, a C input, you know, um, USB-C, that's the new thing. It's not micro or lightning anymore. They, they like to use USB-C now. I believe that's what it's called. So uh, a USB-C charging cable, some attachments for, you know, your blow up toys, balls, another attachment, and the uh, input for the nozzle hose put on your valve. So you just screw this. On the bottom here is where you put in your USB-C power cord to charge it when not using. There's a light over here, LED, so that you can see what you're pumping. <laughs> you just screw that on. This is a rubber thing so it's easy to grip, even in the rain. Now, I wonder how I'm supposed to turn this on. There are instructions, but I don't really want to read instructions. I kind of feel like I can figure it out myself, but I will admit I don't know how to turn it on though. It doesn't have another button to show you, so I press the power button. That's it, <laughs> power button. Um, Hold it to turn it on, hold it to turn it off. Press it once for it to turn on, press it once to turn it off. Really easy to use, honestly. And like I said, it's small and lightweight. You just throw it in your glove box, you know? Um, let's try it. Well, amazingly, all the things in my garage already have air. Gonna have to find something that has a flat tire. Aha! I haven't used this tire in a long time. Let's try this. So 
So this worked great. Only took a few minutes. And as you saw, um, usually lawn tractor tires take up to 10 PSI for it to be completely full. This is fine the way it is. I let it stop around five PSI. And you saw how the pressure went from zero to five pretty much in no time. It's a very handy item to have when you're in a jam and it doesn't take up too much room in your glove box in your car. Uh, charge it up every few weeks or something if you don't use it, you know, just to make sure that it has all four bars present. But a uh, very handy item to have in case you're in a bind and you need to fill up your tires. Also great for vacations where you can pump up your floatable toys for your pool or uh, air mattress for camping, you know, all kinds of uses. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to buy one for yourself. Thanks a lot for Ballot for sending this to me for a product review. Uh, it's a very handy item. I like it a lot. Everybody should have one. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers. As a YouTuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.